everybody, welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. This week has been really exciting. My belongings have finally arrived from the UK. The dog pen has been finished and it's been good, it's been tiring, it's been awesome. So in today's video I'm going to show you around the house a little bit, talk a bit more about the move and the dog pen and I'm also going to show you around the local area a bit when I'm driving off later today to buy a bottle of gas for my heater. So here I am sitting on my own sofa, my own beautiful Art Deco 1930 sofa and it's so good, it's so comfortable, it's so comfortable and I've been missing it. You know, those of you who have seen my earlier videos when I was still in the UK, it was very upsetting to have to get rid of all my beautiful furniture that I've collected over many, many years. I had a house completely furnished in Art Deco, but I managed to bring some things over and I am so glad I did because it's a little, little bit of home coming with me and it's making the place so much more homely. Even though I was already at home here, it's just a finishing touch. So my belongings were brought over by a guy called Terry Vaud. He is a British expat here in Bulgaria and he did a brilliant job. He cleared all my stuff through customs and not a single item got broken. Even my mum's hand-blown crystal glasses survived in one piece. Now that's the first time I've ever moved that that has happened. So great shout out to Terry. I'm going to leave him a brilliant review on Trustpilot and I highly recommend him for any move from Bulgaria to the UK or back. But uh, yeah, let's show you around the house because I'm really excited. I've already started unpacking some of my stuff, even though there are still lots and lots of boxes. And uh, it'll be a bit of a task to unpack everything and to put everything in its right place. But it's also exciting because this is the beginning of the rest of my life here because all my belongings are here with me now and this is home. So this sofa is so beautiful and so comfortable. You know, it's original, it's filled with horsehair, it's got metal springs and it's just the most comfortable thing ever. Boxes, more boxes. And I finally got some proper bedding because it's actually very difficult to find real duvets here in Bulgaria. Most people still use blankets, which I'm not that keen on. And here is my super comfortable bed from the UK, which is now going to be waiting for my friends and anyone who wants to come here in the guest room. You'll all get a brilliant night's sleep. Hello, boy. Even the little touches, the shoe racks, which make such a difference to keeping everything tidy. And I mostly brought things that meant something to me, like this little milk urn was painted for me by my dad when I was a little child. And I've managed to take it with me wherever I've gone. I mostly brought sentimental stuff like that. My wardrobe which is now housing all my coats instead of the old coat rack. And first things first, my music room. Yes, I mean, we have to set priorities and as a musician, that's the first thing I unpacked, my music room. I am so happy everything arrived, even my shamanic drum I was quite worried about that because it's made from deer hide and animal hides are officially not allowed for import in the EU anymore. That by the way is 
the couple who built this house. Yes, it was a proper love affair. The guy was a Russian soldier, came over here, married the Bulgarian girl, got himself a piece of land, which was quite common in those days. Um, the reward for being a Russian soldier and going into occupied territory was that you could settle in those territories. And that is the Lady Maria at a later age. And I like to honor I like to honor their memory because they built this house and the cottage next door with their own hands. That's not to be snitched out. So down here things have changed a little bit too. My old coat rack is now down here. I will still also get a wardrobe for down here, but for now shoe rack, coat stand and a little cupboard. All this furniture is original by the way. I have salvaged it from this house. Here also one of my chairs. The dogs like to sit in it so plenty of blankets. Little wardrobe. I just bought a brand new mattress for the old bed. Heater. So this room is absolutely ready to go for anyone wanting to stay here. Either volunteer or join my homesteading community. Because I am about to set up a homesteading community. There. I also bought some brand new tablecloth. So everything is taking shape. Yes, yeah, so anybody who wants to live on a homestead and join me in setting up an eco community, this is the living accommodation. This is the bottom half of the house, which is very comfortable, very cozy, and this is where you would be staying. So I'm looking for people who want to either volunteer here for three to four months, or who want to move here permanently and join me in setting up an eco-community where we live off the land, grow our own food and become completely independent. So if you feel called to join me on this exciting adventure, just send me an email at silke at innerhippiebooks.com or leave me a comment underneath this video. So here is the doggy pen. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, my darlings. Hey, it's completely secure now. Yes, let me come in. Hello, hello, hello. So, here is the pen. Metal fencing all around, inset in concrete. So, totally secure. The dogs have a lovely big safe area. This is the north facing part of the house so it's nearly always in the shade so even in the summer it will be not too hot for them here. Plenty of shade, plenty of shelter. <coughs> so I finally have a place where I can leave my dogs in peace and I know they're going to be safe. Such a game changer. And now it's time for me to go and get a gas bottle refill so I'm staying nice and toasty and warm tonight.
so here we go. Now, as you can see, my property backs straight onto the field. And even though this is officially declared a road, a highway, it is in reality just a farmer's track. Come the summer it's quite okay for cars, but in the winter you really need a big van or something like a 4x4. But whereas some people have said to me that's really inconvenient, I actually like it because it gives privacy and also a beautiful view. I look out of my window onto all of this nature. That is the top road. As you can see, I'm one of the very last houses in the village. The village literally ends with my field. I love it because it's less than 10 minutes walk to the village center, to the shops, but it feels like you're a thousand miles from nowhere. Beautiful. And the village itself is very much still a traditional Bulgarian village. In this area of Bulgaria, in the west of Bulgaria, things have not been developed as much as in other places. As you can see, the roads are notoriously bad with potholes, because basically this area is still poor and nothing much has been done in the last 30 odd years since the fall of communism. People and communities just haven't had the money to renew, so they're making do with the old things and what they've got. To me that actually has a lot of charm because, I don't know, I like the old way of life. But that's probably just my generation because it reminds me of the days when I was growing up. To me, things don't always have to be brand new to be beautiful. And this is the village square already. We even got a library here. I must admit I haven't used it yet because well, basically, I can't read any books in Bulgarian anyway, so... The little church and the graveyard. The communities tend to be Orthodox Catholic here, so the local church is a very important place in the village. And around the area is predominantly farmland. As far as I can see, farmland. So I'm going to get my gas bottle filled up. That's something I had to get used to as well, because in the UK and Germany, where I'm from, you don't fill your bottles, you just pay a deposit, rent a bottle, and 
go to a stockist when it's empty and swap it against the fresh bottle but here you actually buy your bottle you own it and then you go to a gas filling station that was something to get used to but I like it because it's half the price Here I am with one bottle of gas and it really is very cheap here. I remember in the UK paying about 60 pounds for a 20 litre bottle of gas like this but here I just paid 35 levers which is about 17-18 pounds. For our American friends that is less than 20 bucks for 20 liters of gas so still a very cheap way of heating and cooking even though in time I will be aiming to be completely self-sufficient and go over to systems like methane production and also good insulation to make my home and living home so it hardly needs any heating but for now to get started propane gas is good enough like everything you have to start somewhere and then improve on it bit by bit so that's another job well done the gas bottle is here and I'm going to stay warm for another week <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this is roughly what daily life is like here for myself. You know, I just work around the house, work around the grounds, go out, do what's needed, look after the pups and uh, chill, have a cup of coffee. So if you fancy this way of life and you want to join me on my homestead here in Bulgaria, I am currently putting together a community of like-minded people who will live on this land, work this land together. We will create a beautiful eco-community where we become self-sustained and independent. We learn how to grow our own food to be independent from the food chain, something so important. And we will earn money together by sharing our knowledge by holding retreats and giving online lessons. So if this way of life is something you've been thinking about, here's the opportunity. I'm looking for about four to five people and whoever comes first can have the available accommodation here in the basement of the house, which I just showed you in the video. It's available right now, ready to move into. There are also several outhouses and buildings on the land that need restoring and repairing. But once repaired, 
they will make beautiful tiny homes. And in the meantime, you would have to bring your own caravan or RV. There is more than plenty of space to uh, put that in the grounds. Or even if you're a real hardy type, get a yurt or if you want to live in one of those insulated all year tents. It's all possible. There are lots of opportunities. Here in Bulgaria, once you own the land, you can pretty much do what you want on there. So, uh, yeah, if you want to live here and give homesteading and off-grid living a go in a lovely community of like-minded people, leave me a comment or write to me at silke at innerhippiebooks.com. I love to hear from you. And if you enjoy this video and you want to see more of me homesteading and as spring comes along now, uh, all the seeding, all the planting, all the interesting stuff, then hit the subscribe button, like this video, share this video. It helps my channel Im immensely. Thank you. Blessed be.